In this video, we're gonna answer this question. So for what primes P, is there a solution to this quadratic congruence? X squared is congruent to five mod P. In other words, for what primes P, is there a square root of five? Okay, good, we're gonna make use of the Legendre symbol and its properties as well as uh, quadratic reciprocity. So I'll let you pause the video right now and take a look at all of these properties because we're gonna pick right up um, using these properties freely. Okay, good. So uh, what first we wanna notice is the following. So uh, this is equivalent to the question um, for what P is five by P, this Legendre symbol equal to plus one. Okay, good. Maybe that's the first thing to notice. And then the second thing to notice is since um, five is congruent to one mod four, we can apply this property of quadratic reciprocity to tell us that um, five by P is the same thing as P by five for all primes P. Okay, good. And now that motivates four cases. And those cases are all of the residues modulo five. And so we'll do these one case at a time. So case number one, we'll look at uh, if P is congruent to one mod five. Good. So if P is congruent to one mod five, we have five by P is P by five. But now since P is congruent to one mod five, we get one by five. But then that's obviously equal to one, and that's because one squared is equal to one. There's obviously a solution to this equation. Okay, good. So now let's look at case two. So we have uh, P is congruent to two mod five. Okay, so now for the second case, we have um, five by P is the same thing as P by five. And then by this equivalence and this property right, he right here, we have that's the same thing as two by five. But now five is a prime of the form uh, five mod eight. In fact, it's uh, eight times zero plus five. So that tells us that this is negative one. So that means the answer here is it's not a quadratic residue. Now let's look at uh, case three. So case three will be P is congruent to three mod five. Okay, good. So here we have five by P is the same thing as P by five, again, by quadratic reciprocity. And then by this property, once more, we have this is equal to three by five. Good. And now we can flip that again. So that's gonna give us five by three, which is equal to two by three. Again, by doing a reduction modulo three, but now that's gonna be equal to negative one because three is of the form three mod eight. So this is um, negative one. So we have negative one there, and now let's look at case four. So case four is P is congruent to four mod five. So now in this case, we have five by P, is the same thing as P by five, again, by quadratic residue. That's the first step of all of these. But now that is four by five, which is one, because obviously two squared is equal to one. And so we get the answer that uh, five by P is equal to one in case number one and case number four. In other words, the answer for this is uh, if P is congruent to one or four mod five, there is a solution to this uh, quadratic congruence.